Hello everyone, I am Mr. Ninath Kulkarni, working as an assistant professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. In today's session, I will be introducing you to a software called as Robo Analyzer that simulates the working of robots. At the end of this lecture, the students will be able to get acquainted with the user interface of Robo Analyzer in which there are different menus that we, they will get to know. So, this Robo Analyzer is a 3D model based software that can be used to teach and learn the concept of robotics and this is a software that can be best visualized the robots and their paths. This software was developed in mechatronics lab in the department of mechanical engineering at IIT Delhi. With the help of this software, we can generate various serial manipulators with different prismatic joints and revolute joints. We can visualize what are DH parameters and what are the changes happens in the configuration of robots with the change in DH parameters. We can also visualize the working of forward and inverse kinematics. Also, we can do the forward and inverse dynamics. We can trace the end effector path and also we can see the animation of the of this. We can also plot various graphs of position, velocity and acceleration with respect to time. This software also has a virtual robot module in which there are ready made robots and this software also has an integration with the robotics toolbox of MATLAB. So, these are some features of this software. I will directly go through the user interface of this software. So, this is the website roboanalyzer.com from which this software can be downloaded. This is an open source software. These are the features that I have already conveyed to you and this is how the software looks like. This is the user interface of this software. If you click on downloads option, then there are different versions available that is the current version is V 7.5 that you are going to see downwards. So, Robo Analyzer V 7.5 that was released in June 23, 2019. If you click on this software, a zip file will start downloading. If you extract this zip file and just run the execution, execution file, this interface will open. If you go through this interface, there are total 6 menus. One is file, next is HTM next is virtual robots, next is help, next is feedback and last one is contact us. So, there are 6 menus available and this is how the interface looks. If you go down, there is a DH parameter menu, this menu is called DH parameters, the full form is Denevit Hattenberg parameters in which the default robots option is there. The default robots option ranges from 1 degree of freedom to 7 degree of freedom. So, if you click on 2 degree of freedom, you will get total 4 configurations 2 P, 2 R, P, R and R P. So, there are 4 configurations available in 2 degree of freedom robots and if you click on this right button, correct button, the software, uh, the configuration is updated in the interface. If you click on 3 degree of freedom, these configurations are available. If you just click on the right button, the configuration is updated. Now, I will just check 4 degree of freedom and you can see after clicking, the configuration is updated. So, this is how this menu works. I will just reset it to 2 degree of freedom and to R configuration, because this is the configuration that we generally use for demonstration. On the right hand side, you can see the DH parameter table 
in which there are total seven columns. In the first column, there is joint number. In the second column, there is joint type. In the third column, fourth column, fifth column, and sixth column. These four columns, three, four, five, six, they are called as DH parameters. The third column is the joint offset that is uh, noted or denoted by B. The unit is meters. Second column is joint angle that is denoted by theta. Third column is link length, the unit is meter and denoted by A. And last column is twist angle, the unit is degree and denoted by alpha. Now, I will tell you what are the joint parameters. I will just change the joint offset that is B. I have changed the joint offset of joint 1 from 0 to 0 0.1. Similarly, you can see the difference. I will just click enter. So, you can see I have changed the joint offset from 0 0.1. So, you can see the difference. Now, what is joint offset is the distance between this axis of first joint and this axis of second joint. That means, the red axis, the horizontal axis distance between the two joints, two successive joints is called as the joint offset. Now, I will tell you what is the joint angle. The joint angle is denoted by theta and the unit is degree. Currently, I will set the joint angle as 30 degree each theta 1 and theta 2, both 30 degree and I will change all the wrist parameters to 0. The link length I will set at 0 0.1 and 0 0.15 I will keep as it is and rest all the parameters I will keep as 0. Next, you can see the difference. The joint angle we call it as the angle between this axis and this axis. That means, how the joint rotates, how the joint rotates. This is the 0 axis, horizontal axis and this is the next joint. This is the next joint. The angle between this axis and this axis is called as the joint angle. Next is the link length. It is a straightforward uh, definition, the length of the link. So, 0 0.2 I have increased. So, you can see the link length has increased. Next is the twist angle. The twist angle applies for the next joint. So, if I change the twist angle to 30 degree, it applies the, you can see the angle or the next joint it is twisted. So, this also has to be the another d h parameter that is denoted by alpha. So, you can see I will change the twist angle to 0 and the link or joint will be once again same. Now, I will again bring the configuration to 2 R that is the jointed arm type configuration it is a 2 degree of freedom. On the right hand side, you can see the forward kinematics, inverse dynamics, forward dynamics and inverse kinematics. So, these 4 options are available here and with these options, you can uh, visualize the various robot configuration paths and the end effector configuration. On the right hand side, downwards you can see there are four options one is visualize dh parameter next is link configuration next is end effector configuration and last one is joint trajectory so these four options are there available if you click on update the end effector configuration gets updated this is the homogeneous transformation matrix of end effector Currently, the end effector initial value is 0, 0. So, it will give this configuration. Afterwards, I will just click on F kinematics and just trace the path by using the play button. What will happen is, 
it will trace the path and I will just click on update, you can see the difference in this. Now, what is this? This 0 0.224 is the position in x direction, position of the end effector in x direction and similarly, the next one is position of end effector in y direction, this 0 0.239. Next, 293, this is the position of end effector in y direction. On the right hand side, the joint tra trajectory option is there, in which there are total 4 uh, pre built joint trajectories, cycloidal, cubic, cosine and quintic trajectory. These are the 4 pre built trajectories. On the upper side, there is a virtual robots module if you click on virtual robots module, this uh, window will open in which you can visualize the joints working of different joints and simultaneously if you look here, if we change this, the homogeneous transformation matrix of the end effector will change, simultaneously change. That means, you can uh, change or vary the joint positions as per the homogeneous transformation matrix, whatever the homogeneous transformation matrix you require, you can easily generate using this uh, toolbox or this simulator box. So, this is the working of robo analyzer, these are the references that are referred, first one is S K Saha, he is the chief of developer of this software robo analyzer and he has published the book introduction to robotics by tata magro hill publication and second one is the website that is www.roboanalyzer.com so thank you